have you ever imagined what it would be like if there were sequels to great cartoons with your kids? Like, have you ever imagined what How to Train Your Dragon 4 would be like, where instead of the main characters being Hiccup and Toothless, it's Zephyr and Newfink, the children of Hiccup and Astrid, and they raise the same dragon hatchlings that Toothless had with his mate, the Light Fury? It would be amazing to see the adventures of the next generation of Vikings and dragons in a DreamWorks movie. Let him come to you. That's why we picked out some cartoons that would be great with the presence of new generations, and we're sure you'd love to see them too. Loud House Loud House is about a huge family, with 11 siblings living under one roof. Lincoln and all his sisters could lead to many, many different generations. But let's focus on the series protagonist and his controversial and sometimes even violent school crush, Ronnie Ann. And if they continued their relationship, went to college, and got married, it wouldn't be far-fetched for them to have a few little ones who would mix the bloodlines of the Louds and the Casagrands. And can you imagine if it wasn't just a few kids, but several? That would be really cool, because it would be a perfect fit for both the Louds and the Casagrands, two very large families. This would definitely be a series I'd love to see. It's like we're literally meant to be. <laughs> Ugh, they're so cheesy. Gumball. This is actually a fan-made series called The Amazing World of Gumball, The Next Generation, created by a very talented fan named A.I. Slep. It takes place exactly 24 years in the future, with Gumball and Penny having two children, Zack and Emmy, while Darwin and Carrie have a whopping eight children. <laughs> Plus, there are many other characters from the new generation, which we discuss in detail in this video. The new characters from Gumball that you can check out after finishing this video. One highlight, there's even Mirian, the daughter of Alan and Carmen, who is Zack's girlfriend. Seriously, the story is really good. Star vs. The Forces of Evil If you're a bit older, you may have watched Star vs. The Forces of Evil and probably rooted for Star and Marco to end up together, which eventually happened. But the show was so good that as soon as it ended, there was even a digital petition to urge Disney to continue it, which hasn't happened yet. But we imagine and hope that it might happen. And who knows, there could even be a new generation on screen, with the couple growing up, getting married, and having a new princess, of course, to continue the crazy adventures of her mother with some of her father's karate skills, of course. <laughs> There's even a fan comic that shows Marco and Star's daughter coming from the future to prevent them from not getting together, and her name is Elizabeth. Phineas and Ferb Phineas and Ferb is definitely one of the cartoons that marked many people's childhoods. In the episode Act Your Age, certain things are left open to many possibilities. We see that Ferb, who is practically an adult, is dating Vanessa, the daughter of the show's villain. And in the same episode, we finally see Phineas and Isabella getting together after she spent years literally being in love with him without him noticing. But at the end of the episode, he has an epiphany and kisses his childhood friend, who is finally going off to college. From there, you can imagine a new generation coming from the show's main characters, with Ferb and Vanessa having two daughters and Phineas and Isabella having two daughters and a son. They even have names, Lynette, Jacob, and Marie. A story with all these kids would be awesome. Disney, I've never asked you for anything before. Kick Batowski. Anyone who watched Kick Batowski definitely had fun with the crazy stunts he pulled off, but also enjoyed the ups and downs between the protagonist and his classmate Kendall. In fact, despite denying it, it's clear in the last episode of Kick that he has a crush on Kendall, since she appears in his dream as a kind of warrior queen with an axe. <laughs> if Disney were to revive the show one day, it would be great to see the adult versions of the two and also the new generation of suburban adventurers and good students at school. People on the internet even created a story where they have twin daughters, the adventurous Ryder and the studious Laurel, just like the couple. It would be great to see this new generation in many new episodes. You know what's also cool? Knowing that you're a fan of cartoons and have a fertile imagination, just like us. If you enjoy cartoons and always like to think about new possibilities like the ones we're bringing, comment down below, hashtag kids, to represent the new generation of cartoons that might be coming our way. The next cartoon that would be great to see a new generation in would be Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo is simply the most timeless cartoon in history because one thing everyone likes, regardless of the year, is a group of young people and a scaredy cat dog solving spooky mysteries involving the supernatural. And going back to the last decent Scooby-Doo series that was released, we have Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated. In this series, there's clearly a romance between Shaggy and Velma, as well as between Fred and Daphne, who have been a couple practically forever in the cartoon. So if 
people are getting tired of Scooby-Doo, maybe a new series with a new generation of the original character's children would be more interesting than launching other Scooby-Doo series. Because the main characters would be too old to continue solving the scariest mysteries. In fact, the actors who played Daphne and Fred in the first live-action Scooby-Doo movie ended up getting married and having two little ones together. Puss in Boots and Kitty Softpaws the Puss in Boots movies are some of the coolest ones from DreamWorks. In them, we meet Kitty Softpaws, who is actually the perfect match for the world's smartest cat as she can even be more clever than he is. And at the end of the second movie, the duo remains together with the little Perito as their companion, strongly hinting that little kittens might be on the way, especially considering they're heading to Shrek and Fiona's kingdom. Remember that of the Shrek trio, Puss is the only one without heirs, as both Donkey and Shrek already have kids, many of them. So, seeing Kitty and Puss's little kittens would be really cool and would definitely add more adventures, especially if they inherit traits from both of their parents. Man, that would be simply amazing. Jasmine and Aladdin. To this day, at least for now, the only Disney princess who officially had children is Ariel from The Little Mermaid, with her daughter Melody being one of the main characters in the second film. But there's another couple that would work really well to have some little ones starring in Disney animated movies and series, and one of the best options would be the children of Princess Jasmine and the former thief Aladdin. Seeing stories involving the children of the future king and queen of Agrabah, along with the nearly cosmic and semi-phenomenal genie would definitely be something a lot of people would love to see on screen. And there are already perfect designs for Aladdin and Jasmine's two daughters and son. And seriously, they look absolutely incredible. This would make Jasmine the second Disney princess to officially have children, which would be an incredible milestone. Barbie and Ken. So, this is definitely an almost impossible dream, but since imagining is free and doesn't cost anything, here goes. It would be really cool to finally see Barbie and Ken getting married and having a daughter who, over time, would become a new version of Barbie, perpetuating all her charm and good taste. Especially after the Barbie movie, many people became even more eager to see this happen, despite Mattel, the creator of the doll, stating that it's not in the company's plans. After all, Barbie's symbol of freedom is what makes her a global phenomenon, and marriage wouldn't exactly be synonymous with that, at least in the company's view. But even if the company doesn't have that intention, many fans have that idea in mind. So, some people decided to create the two characters in the famous game The Sims, with a special mention to the profile at Isaiah Sims, who did just that. The couple had a relationship in the game, and over time had a beautiful baby girl named Susie, who grew up to become a lovely teenager who looks a lot like Barbie. In my opinion, Susie, who is Barbie's fictional daughter, is a character that would be great to see in a Barbie animated movie or series, maybe even in a future film. It would be awesome to see the new generation of Barbie and her friends. Daffy Duck and Lola Bunny to wrap up our list of new generations that would be really cool to exist or come into existence, let's consider the possibility of Daffy Duck and his girlfriend Lola finally getting married and having little ducklings, which wouldn't be too difficult to imagine if we take as a basis Lola's sister son, whom Daffy has to take care of in one of the episodes of the new Looney Tunes show. So, you can imagine that the couple would have a little duckling who looks like him, with more yellow feathers like Lola, or maybe another little duckling with black feathers like his father. As long as neither of them had the crazy and opportunistic personality of their father, everything would be great. <laughs> These are the cartoons that would definitely have really cool series with the new generations of the main characters. It was a really cool journey, but it doesn't have to end now. We've picked out these videos down below for you to keep enjoying some really cool and fun content. Check them out, because I'm sure you'll enjoy them a lot.